A particular study looked at 26,000 men, and guess what they found? 45% actually wanted a bigger penis, while 38% wanted an increase in height. You can see that more men are more concerned about getting a larger penis than the number of men concerned about the increase in height. Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Messi Mary, popularly known as the Nurse with a Difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you scientifically proven ways to increase your penal gets. Scientifically proven ways to increase your penal length. But before we go into details into this class, if you are new on our YouTube channel and these are content you are interested in, please click on that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nosmes Mary saying thank you. Let's go there. All right, welcome back. Now, let's go straight into the point. I just want to let you know that penal length is a matter of concern to most men. A particular study was conducted and 91% of these men perceive that their penis is small. Yes, I was going through Dr. Malik's video. Dr. Malik is a urologist on YouTube. And she said something. She said a small study was conducted. And when a small study was conducted, these particular men, they were asked, what do you think is the average length of a normal flaccid penis? And what did they say? They said that it is 13 centimeters. 13 centimeters was what they felt was the average length. But that is quite different from the actual average length, which is between 8 to 10 centimeters. And taking a look at the whole thing, most men that complain of their penal length, they usually have the normal. But because of the whole perception of what they watch and what they see, how they amplify things on social media, they feel less of themselves and feel that they are not having the normal size or the normal average length of, an, of a penis. But the other question you should ask yourself is, why do men really want to enlarge their penis? Somebody dropped and was like, if the men can enlarge the, uh, if the women, I mean, can put a breast implant, why can't the men use a penal implant but anyway i'm going to be sharing with you why most men actually want to enlarge their penis why they are more concerned about their penis one of the reasons could be that they want to improve their self they want to boost their self-confidence yes they want to be more confident another reason could be that they just want to change the size they just want to change the, how it looks another reason could be that they want to satisfy their partner effectively where they feel they are not functional functioning effectively well another reason could be like they are attaching the size of the penis to their self-worth they'll feel that the bigger the size of their penis the bigger their self-worth so different may have different reasons why they are concerned about the penal length and their penal side but we should also take note of the fact that there is something called body dysmorphia where a people are particularly concerned about how they look how their appearance look but in all also, there may be the reasons I'm going to be sharing with you some scientifically proven ways to actually increase penile length. All right. So the first one that is coming to your mind is the pills that are selling around. The question is, do these pills work? Do these um, medications work that they say it helps to increase penile length? The answer is no. Um, there have not been a scientific rationale like between those pills and penile enlargement so for those that take those pills those scream and people say that it helps with penal enlargement i don't really understand the rationale behind it and what we've come to realize is that sometimes those uh, pills those medications they contain things that are not even listed on the bottles so i think we all should take note and be aware of it before i go into the various types proper i just want to let you know that i am not a specialist in this field i am not a urologist if you must make useful decisions in regards to penal enlargement, I would advise you contact a specialist in this field. I'm just generally giving a general knowledge. I am generally giving a general knowledge. So now let's go straight into the first one, which is the vacuum erection device. This vacuum erection device is made up of a tube, a constriction band, and a pump. What it does is that it temporarily increases the size of the penis by drawing, by dragging, by bringing blood flows to the erectile 
tissues so that is what this particular device is but when it comes to long lasting effect of increasing the size it has not been seen it only does that tempo rare so it's not long lasting and i also want to let you know that there are some side effects that can be noticed while using this and one of it could be pain is maybe slightly blue purple color and cool to touch may not ejaculate as a man you may not ejaculate at climbers you may experience some small red spots below the skin so these are the side effects that are likely going to pop up with the use of the vacuum erection device so the second one i have to share with you is the penal traction device yes as you hear the word traction have you ever been to a hospital and you see patients on a traction to help align the joint to help align the bones properly or let's use a common scenario of a bracelet that is being applied to the teeth to help remodel the teeth to help realign the teeth properly so that's how this traction looks like it's being placed this traction is being placed on the penis daily at a particular time of the day you can just say okay every eight o'clock i'll be putting it on my penis every day to help stretch the penis so this may stretch the penis on a straight line or opposite of that curve but in all what it does is that it helps with the length but not necessarily the get that's how wide it is so that's what this penal traction device does so for those that don't know that there's something called penal traction device you can check on google and it's going to pop up then that takes us to the third one so the third one i have to share with you is penal injection so basically sometimes these individuals they take this injection by themselves this is the injection of aprostadol yeah aprostadol into the penis why some they go to the hospital to get this done it doesn't require any anesthetics it doesn't require any surgery it doesn't require you for you to be in the hospital for a long period of time all you just have to do is to inject it and that gives you an erection that will help you to carry on throughout your sexual intercourse procedure so like i always tell you if you want to do anything but make sure you contact your doctors for useful guidance there are side effects attached to this and one of it is pain and discomfort bruising on that skin a persistent painful erection lasting longer than four hours so these are the common side effects that are likely going to pop up with the use of this penal injection but there are also some effects that are going to pop up some occasional they are not like common and that is scarring or bending of the penis on erection failure to achieve erection following an injection bleeding from the water pipe that's bleeding from your urethra so these are the side effects that are likely going to pop up with the use of penal injection so then that takes us to the fourth point which i want to share with you the fourth one i have to share with you is the fillers yes the fillers so the fillers involve the use of an injection they inject hyaluronic acid into the glands of the penis that is the head of the penis this helps with penal enlargement so this whole procedure is done under local anesthetics yes you can even go home and carry out your normal activities of the day as if nothing happened so these fillers usually last up to 12 months to 24 months between 12 months to 24 months and i heard that some people usually go for top up like to make sure that it's within the range they go for top up but i don't really have a lot of details about this penal fillers what i have is that there's an injection of hyaluronic acid into the glands of the penis to help with uh, the penal size and one thing you should know is that fillers have always been they've been used in the cosmetic industry for a very long period of time so that takes me to the fifth point which i want to share with you and that is the implant so there are basically different types of implants we have the inflatable implant and we have the non-inflatable implant so the inflatable implant helps you to get erection whenever you want so as the name imply inflatable all you have to do is just to inflate and you get the erection so i can't really go into details about it because i am not a specialist on this field so we have the inflatable and the non-inflatable implants and there's also another one called the pneumal implants but when i was going through the internet searching for information i found out that the pneumal implant is not licensed to be used in the uk but is licensed to be used in the united states so there's something called an implant as the name implies implants be it inflatable non-inflatable pneumon implants what is happening is that they are inserting something just the same way you have your breast implants that is the same way you have your uh, penile implant 
um, sometimes they insert the silicone, silicone, but the non-inflatable to help these men with erectile dysfunction to help them out and help them with their sexual life and sexual performance. Then the last one I have to share with you is surgery. Yes, people embark on surgery to help increase their penal length. This involves the transfer of fat tissues and also grafts. So what I think whenever I hear surgery in regards to the penis, what comes to my mind is that the same way you have a transfer of fat for those that do their boobs, for those that do their um, their buttocks and also their breasts there's a transfer of fat from other parts of the body to that place so that is what i feel the doctors will be doing to transfer fat to um the penis to help with um, enlarging the side you get so surgeries can be done to enlarge your penis so these are the scientifically proven ways i have read and i have seen that has helped to improve um the penal size so i think we should take note of that and also if you want to, like earlier said, improve the penis, the penal side, it's advisable you contact a specialist in this field. I just want to let you know that these are ways, but I'm not saying I am a specialist in this particular this particular field. So I hope this video is beneficial. And I also want to let you know that it's expensive, it's not cheap. Same way your liposuction, your uh, breast enlargement, your Botox enlargement is not cheap. That is the same way penal enlargement is not cheap. So you don't feel it's cheap. It's something you can just get even if you don't have money. Basically, this is what I have to share with you today. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share with a friend if you got value.